Hello everyone, welcome to a Let's Play series of Stranded Alien Dawn. I'm going to talk to you all about this game, give you hints, tips and tricks as we go through the series. Let's start a new game. Okay, so here are our survivors. So basically, Alien Dawn is a survival game which you have a colony and you have to basically make them survive through this planet that they've landed on. I'm not explaining this very elegantly. <laughs> But it'll make sense once we get into the game. So first of all, what we need to do is go wait and pick our survivors. A little bit of a breakdown here of why I picked these people. So we've got Emlyn here who is interested in cooking there. So she's a level five. We've got Grayson, got an interest in crafting. He also works four times speed when crafting construction stuff with wood. And now we've got Combat Ken. He's interested in combat here. A kind of an interesting trait of Ken, however, is gains happiness when killing or observing death. So very useful to have on your team. Obviously he likes combat. If he gets thrills out of it, then each to their own. I am not here to judge. And then finally we've got Vanessa. So like I said, wife of Grayson. She has an interest in healing as well. So can't fail a medical treatment and also makes others happy when playing music. Her stats are a little bit low, I got to admit. You know, zeros, ones. I'm kind of going on the basis that because she is husband to Grayson, it's going to have a nice boost within the group. And it also means that they can share a bedroom. Okay, so here we go. We are crash landing on our planet here. Vanessa is having a meltdown. Absolutely chaos right now. Everything's just falling out from the sky. <coughs> to start off with, we really want to start scavenging our record here. What is nice is we can see that we've got a pistol down here. So we're going to get combat Ken to go away and equip that. I do actually want to set up a couple of things. So number one is going to be activities here. So you can do simple priorities, which is basically a tick box system. You know, will they do it? Will they do it? So you can go ahead and set all this up. Click into here. Yeah, you've got this point system. So a one means that it is their absolute number one priority. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at each survivor and see which one's got the highest. So Vanessa is the highest in healing, so she's going to be a one. And then I'm just going to go through each of these sections to make sure that we have our best person. Okay, so you can see that I have put all the people in what they're good at, what they're not good at. And then you kind of have to balance it out a bit. So you can see that Vanessa, like I spoke about before, her skill set is quite low. Going through her tasks... I mean, she is basically a zero in absolutely everything. So she will cut down some stuff. So we'll give her that as a second priority as well. And then she will scavenge some stuff as well. So we'll do that as a second priority. Uh, and she will mine as well. So next we're going to have a look at our schedule here. You can set this up to when they sleep, when they work, when they relax and anything they want. So all activities are allowed under everything. So I feel like that's quite important because you know, if they're tired, they will go to sleep. If they want to relax, they'll just do whatever they want. And I think that's kind of key. So we are going to go away and say kind of midday, they can do whatever they want for an hour, you know, grab lunch, go for a sleep, whatever else. And then we're kind of kind of balance out our work day. So we kind of want maybe like seven hours either side. So that means we'll do anything there. We'll go for a work there. So we're kind of balancing it out. You know, you've got a little bit of time from eight o'clock onwards, wake up, start work at five o'clock. And I think that's kind of a nice balance between everyone's schedule there. And next, what we want to do is kind of stack up the, the challenges for these survivors. So you can see on our map here, I mean, Sobrius looks absolutely gorgeous, depending on where you crash land. So we do have all these scavenging places that, you know, is really going to help us out. The bigger bits that we can't actually do at the moment, but the little bits that we certainly can. Then you kind of want to look about and think, okay, we've got a lot of places to scavenge. We also have these bushes that we want to go and observe. That is because it means that we can actually go away later on and plant them. So we can have crops growing, which is absolutely fantastic when it brings us into the winter as well. Have a look on your map. We have these like really strange creatures as well that we can go away and serve or like hunt them down. Some of them are friendly, some of them are not. But the main thing we need to do is set up a camp, so a shelter. So that is our shelter put down. I'm gonna put down four of these. 
so let's get that built. We also want to make sure that we do have some sleeping spots for our uh, survivors as well in some beds so again holding down shift we can get them all nicely lined up there. Next thing we want to do is possibly look at a campfire. Uh, we also need some storage so we've got some storage shelf. You know we do have scrap metal but I do quite like saving that for later on gameplay. So at this stage you're kind of thinking okay I'm now needing to go away and cut down some trees as well. And then next thing, we really want to start off by making our research desk there. Storage space. So we do actually need to get some stockpiles here. I do like to kind of put mine behind, um, but I'm actually going to put them to the side here. So we do want to go and get more storage by getting these shelves in as well. Yeah, stockpiles in there. We'll put our research desk in there. Hopefully we do have enough enough now to put that in. Yep, we've got a wooden one. Uh, we'll just rotate that around. Hello, Grayson. We put together a camp as quick as we could. Basically, they are asking if we can gather around the campfire to celebrate being alive at 1900 hours tonight. It's a great idea. Let's do it or now is not the time for this. Sorry, my friends. Now is not the time for this. I know you guys will be thinking, wow, you're absolutely harsh, but you know what every single gameplay that i've seen people are like yeah let's celebrate this is amazing no my friends we're here to survive <laughs> am i being too harsh i don't know um so yeah we've got our crops growing in nicely we've got some stockpiles coming in as well fire has been built um and basically we're going to get straight onto research so this is kind of your bread and butter here uh, that lightning rod is going to take us three hours, so we're going to go away and get that straight off the bat here. And then we're going to focus on weapon smithing, so everyone's equipped, because Grayson and Vanessa, even though I don't believe that they are kind of into combat, you know, it's helpful to have a weapon on you when you get attacked. And that will be coming in on day five. We're currently on day two at the moment. You can stack it up here as well. So we do have some empty slots. Uh, so basically have a read through them, see which ones that you think, what you want to build off of. So wooden fortification, very good to keeping out those nasty bugs and insects that you do not want in your camp. Then we are going to have a look at some basic construction as well. And then to finish off with, I think we are going to do some uh, smelting here. We can also manage our stockpiles as well. So when you click on them, you can go to your list here. So you can say, you know, this section over here, I just want them to have construction materials. I don't want any of this stuff. I want to kind of organize things a little bit better. Um, and the same over here, you can decide you know what, we don't want any raw food, we don't want any cooked meals either, uh, I just want um, no construction materials. So all this stuff here, I, I would like in this section as well. And it's the same with our shelves, so we can decide, you know what, I do want my cooked foods, uh, my raw foods, I do want my medicines up here as well. Uh, other items, maybe get some... Uh, clothing as well. So where are we at right now? We do have Grayson doing some research. He is absolutely on it like a, a car bonnet. Already uh, researched there. So we've got our lightning rod. This is going to help us obviously if anyone is out and about that they are not going to get affected by the lightning strikes. So you can see there that we did have that radius. So anything within the green radius means that they are not going to be affected by that. One thing I did kind of forget to mention about as well, while all our survivors are having a little nap there, is you can come into here and you can select consumption. So if we don't want them to eat raw food, we can go away and say select no. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this is because you know, sometimes they'll just go away and eat something. Oh, they're all up. Good morning. They'll just go away and eat whatever they want. Cooking is a, a very important task as well. So we know that uh, Emlyn here is our cook. We do have cooked emergency rations here. Um, well, we've got four survivors. So I'm thinking eight meals until we have eight meals in stock. So she'll basically go away and cook them up, put them on the shelves so they are ready to be eaten. Another thing is quite important is to get some furniture. So, you know, a lot of people like to sit and eat at a table. I know I certainly do. So we're going to get that popped down in here as well. Close next to the fire. Hold down shift. So Emlyn's cooking now. 
Grayson has just finished in lightning rod, so I'll keep him nice and safe. Uh, Grayson, my friend, I would like you to, once you're finished off doing that, we'll speed this up ever so slightly. Once you are finished making that beautiful desk. Oh, he's whining about being stranded forever. See, now he's going off to go away and research this tree. And I love that for him. But I really, really want him to get straight on to researching as much as possible. So he's going to go away there and do our researching for weapons, which is very important. Let's see our farm. So we've only got our fruit bush. Hopefully Ken, who's now decided... This, see, this is kind of the funny thing about this game. In the morning, he was like, oh yeah, I'm going to go away and observe this thing. Uh, let's see how much. It's 39%. And then he was just like, you know what? I'm bored of this. I'm now going to go away and check out this wreckage. And now he's going to go off to bed. So it's kind of a little bit of micromanaging as well. If you really want to get someone to do something, I mean, their skill sets for your uh, management, um, like your activities really kind of well, play a part in that. So Ken here, obviously the intellect part of researching, he's number three. You would think, okay, so hunting, cutting, scavenging and mining. Um, so he's obviously decided Today, I want to wake up and do some researching, uh, even though his top priority is actually supposed to be scavenging, mining, cutting and uh, hunting. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a strange one, to be fair. We obviously have this little guy here who's, who's lurking in the background. See, here we go. Grayson, where are you going? Grayson, I bet you've not finished this. This is what happens with this game. They just kind of go off and do their own little thing. I, I mean, again, I, I, we're all human here. I, you'll probably find this, I mean, I certainly do this in, in real life, is you get a bit bored with certain tasks and um, you'll kind of go off and do something else. But I really need to get uh, a little bit more micromanaging here with some certain tasks. Again, Grayson, my friend, stay, stay. It's almost like I want to build a fence around Grayson and just be like, your job is to stay at this research desk uh, forevermore. Just get it done. So yeah, that's fantastic. He has actually done it. Weaponsmithing, fantastic. So with that being said, we are now going to go away. Aha, here we go. Uh, so workbench. So this is what is going to help us out. Uh, we're going to make it out of wood. We'll turn that around as well. Can we get someone else to do some research? I am absolutely loving this game, but I also just want to make sure that we get things researched as fast as possible. So I'm actually going to put Vanessa on here. Um, her happiness is, you know, pretty pretty good and then i guess we're going to have to look at some crafting so crafting level one uh interest is obviously a grayson i mean is grayson my mvp is is he my is he my best person you know probably we do actually have to craft some weapons so we could get in two spears for the ones that do not have any weapons on them so we'll set that up uh for just now where is he he's off to do some research i am so sorry my friend but you know what if we if life was just a bunch of graysons <laughs> we would be absolutely on it so like i said day four we are getting closer to that animal attack which will be coming ever so shortly We've got this guy here he could easily attack us but hopefully not so we do now have i believe we've got some spears coming in so that is just getting transported over here. Oh, look at this guy. I have a spear in my, my hand. Um, it looks more like a twig, my friend, but hey-ho. But we do have to start getting uh, some recipes cooked up. Do I send them out to go and do some hunting? Possibly. I mean, we do have Ken there who does get that perk. There is, like up here, we can butcher can picture these things that are you know found their fate without us having to 
um, go away and kill them. Okay, we've got quite a lot actually just hanging about. Butcher this dude as well. What has been going on? What has been going on? There is so many just random dead animals. Ken will be... See, on it, butchering big horn animal. Um, I'm wondering if he is going to get an absolute kick out of this. So here he is. Choppy choppy. Uh, let's see. Happiness. Hopefully. I say hopefully. It's going down, which is interesting. Uh, stressed out, was annoyed by Grayson. There's no fun things to do. Maybe he enjoys the, the kill. But obviously, you're just butchering. But oh my gosh. I, you're eating my crops, my friend. So, Ken, do I hunt it? As soon as I say, do I hunt it, it's like backing off a bit. I mean, we can observe it to make, you know, how how crazy is it? We can obviously fence this off so this little character over here stops eating our crops, which, you know, is really what we're meaning to do. Or we can hunt it. It's a hard one. It is really a hard one. I'm very much tempted to get them all <laughs> to to go away and hunt this this annoying uh, yet majestic beast. I'm also loving how it's a thunderstorm and Ken is just like, you know what, I'm going to go out there, butcher these insects. Uh, he's probably needing sleep, to be fair. Ah, 34%. We'll just let Ken do what Ken does. Combat Ken on a mission. Okay, it is morning time. This dude has just woken up. Ken is coming back with some meat. Everyone else is having some breakfast here. It is day five and we all know what happens on day five. So I'm just waiting for that notification to come up. Ken, it is the morning. It is your time to shine, my friend. I am... I want you to go, oh my gosh, do I want you to go observe it or do I want you to go and hunt it? He's at risk of a, a of a meltdown as well. If he could research that, you know, quite, quite fast, then he can go and kill it. And I think that's going to boost his happiness as well. So we'll see how that, how that plays out. Do now have green cob. Yes, correct. Uh, so a good discovery harvests grain and uh, that's exactly what we want to do. So again, we're going to pop that down um, and we want to make this as big as possible. So that's 100%. Ken, my love, how are we getting on with that researching? Uh, still going, still figuring it out. He's holding his head. He's probably like, what is this thing and how can I kill it? Hopefully they're like getting a, a bit of an understanding for each other. Uh, this is obviously quite a standoff attitude. Uh, he's like, oh my god, just let me shoot it. But, you know, we are going to, to take that time. Okay, so we have discovered what it is. Let's have a look at this. So it's a herbivore. It is peaceful. Um, it will give us 50 meat. Usually passive. High chance to uh, retaliate when attacked. Right, Ken. It's your time to shine, my friend. I would like you to hunt it. Okay, so Ken's on it. He is hunting, he is shooting, he is probably getting an absolute thrill out of this. Uh, I love Vanessa's just like, hey, I'm just, you know, I'm just chilling. Um, so here we go. Let's see, see if Ken's like, oh my god, this is amazing. So far, nothing amazing has came up. Okay, so we're 85% ready to, to get this fence built, so to speak. Grayson is so busy making these bandages. Let's see how much more he has to make. So we've got six in stock. I asked him to make 15. It is day five. Six bandages. I am just, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not fantastic at um, defending ourselves at this stage. It would be fantastic if we could get um, the fortification done. Here we go, aggressive animals are that will be on the tack. Uh, so what's up with you, Vanessa, hon? What's, uh, what's in love with Grayson? Oh, that's cute. Oh, that is cute. Um, happiness is going down a bit. Vanessa is our person who likes to play musical instruments as well. So what we can do is in our research, uh, we do have a construction base um, going on as well. Musical instruments, we do have to have metal alloys for that. Um, that is going to come from our smelting. 
So as soon as we get that uh, research, we can go away and get her to do some musical instruments. Oh, we've got, what's this? Uh, planting for uh, big bushes for sticks, fantastic. Um, I know that these animals are on the tack, but they will take a kind of a while to get here. So um, we can just kind of crack on with that. Our aggressive animals are coming in. Uh, they'll take a while to get up here. When the music does change, that's when you know that they are on the tack. But uh, everyone's secure with weapons. We've got, um, you know, pistols. We've got spears. So everything should be fine. Here we go. It's the change in music, so you know for sure that um, we are about to get attacked. So we are going to draft them. So everyone's up. Everyone is ready. They are coming in just now. We just want to get straight on it. So here we go. Grayson's on it with the, with the pistol there. They're doing quite well so far. They are kind of coming in a little bit. So we're maybe just going to back up ever so slightly. Um, so we've got three left to go. We've got three injuries, two animals, uh, bugs left there, one, and there we go. So we're going to undraft them. What has happened now is we've got these bugs <laughs> that we can butcher. They will be coming back for treatment. So first of all, we need to take a look at our injuries. So Emlyn here, uh, bleeding but not life threatening. So one per hour. Grayson is absolutely fine. Yep, nothing has affected Grayson. And then we have got one per hour for Ken and one per hour. So not apps, not, you know, not horrendous. However, we do need to make sure that they are, you know, looking after themselves. What we do want to go away and make sure, oh, 85%. We are so close to getting this done. I'm so sorry, Grayson. But let's just, let's just pull through, guys. Let's just pull through, get it done, and then we can start thinking about our next step, which is basically trying to get a structure built. Fantastic. So wooden fortification is now ready. Uh, so here we go. We can go away and start building a perimeter around our camp. We'll just do something like that to keep it kind of nice and small at the moment. Uh, we do want to obviously put in uh, a gate for our people to come in and out. We'll go gate there. We also want to put some defense as well. So what would be quite interesting is can we get a little defense tower here? We can. We can get one in the corner. Get one there as well. I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe that when they see, uh, well it really depends when the, the bugs come in to attack, but I mean, is two going to be enough for at the moment? I mean, we've only got one guy with a pistol, so the rest are going to be on foot. So we're going to just, we're just going to go with that for at the moment. We might pop, pop in another gate just because, you know, to get out here um, to be harvesting some crops, the crops are going to have to walk all the way around. Not ideal. Pop this in the middle-ish. So that'll get that starting to build. And then we're going to go onto a construction base. Now, what I'm thinking about is obviously having this as a kind of uh, storage area with all our food and that. And then coming down here, we are going to start building a house for them all to be a little bit more secure so they're not in these horrendous beds. Oh, we can make green porridge now. So that's nice. So we'll maybe do eight of them in stock just for a little bit of variety, you know, variety being the spice of life. Ken is now like, okay, I know what this animal is. Uh, so it's a elfin, which is great because he is just standing there. He's just like, come at me, bro. Uh, so it'll give us 50 raw meat and it will give us some hides as well, which is going to be fantastic for drying that out. Uh, so production, here we go. So we can dry out some hides make them into levers as well. We're gonna pop that, oh, might do like a row of, um, a row of stockpiles there. Although we are not kind of using this to its full advantage either. So I'm thinking, do do we want to get some levers? Yes, we do. But it is, it is nighttime. Everyone except from, nope, Grayson is going to sleep as well. So in the morning, we are going to hopefully finish off the fortification, uh, get these like towers built, 
get all this done and get this. And then I think, oh gosh, he's like, I've been sitting here for ages for you to, to come and um, hunt me. Oh Lord, I did not realize this. That's a baby. So you're only going to get 40 out of this one, but you, you get more out of the, the adults. But that's basically like mummy, daddy, and baby. Ah, oh, it's a harsh world out there, guys. It's a really harsh world, but needs must, I guess. Yeah, let's see how we get on in the morning. Okay, it's day seven. Um, we've still not got everything all set up, but we do actually have a new survivor here. So here comes uh, Lara. Uh, let's see what Lara's status is. So farming, fantastic. Constructions one, cooking's two, crafting's one, intellect and physical. So yeah, really kind of interesting character here. Um, she is just like casually wandered in. I plead for help. My name is Lara Falkov. Oh my god, I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I believe we met on the ship. My escape pod crashed badly and everyone else died. Oh my lord. I fended on my own as best I could, but my rations ran out quickly and I started losing hope. I, I walked in the world for days after seeing smoke from this direction. Please let me stay with you. Of course, you are welcome to stay. Which is absolutely fantastic because... Lara, you are new to the group get building <laughs> she is going to be our farmer so we really need to kind of manage what activities lara is going to be getting up to uh but it does mean however that we now need to um make a new bed for lara okay we now have enough to get a bed which is great we're going to go for a wooden bed um and we are going to make it out of the fabric uh, here we go so there we go nice nice wooden bed and also we need to start getting our construction back on the go as well uh grayson has not had a meltdown in a while so we've got a new discovery here which is silicon which is fantastic uh so that means that we can go away and start farming that as well we'll do do 80 two percent do you know what i'm needing people to construct this bed like I'll, I'll take anyone at this stage to be honest i'll take anyone to get this missing resources oh okay 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 so this is what's going on here then well what why is it missing uh cloth is 10 oh we don't have wood Oh, I do apologise. I do apologise. This is why they're not doing it. Oh, I feel so bad. Lara's now sleeping on the ground. That is not that is not ideal. Um, Grayson, once you have finished eating your breakfast, can you please, can someone please go... Okay, they're cutting down. They're cutting down now. Imagine that, though. Like, you are just being brought new into the group. And I'm like... No, we we want to give you a proper bed. Like you shouldn't have to suffer on the ground. Where the, you know the rest of them are like, it's day nine and we're still sleeping on the ground. Yet someone new has joined us, and you're like, yeah, you should you should go and sleep in a bed. So we've have now discovered some skin bark, which is great. Crafting a uh, veggie lever skin bark beds as well. Do we need all that skin bark? I don't know. We should probably focus more on you know, fruits uh, and vegetables, but it is what it is. It's all about finding that balance. We have now a sniper though, so that's pretty cool. So let's have a look, see who we can give that to. Do we give that to Combat Ken or do we give that to Emlyn? So we're gonna give you that one. We're gonna have a bit of a shift about here, I think. So he's dropped that. We're gonna give you Ken's thingy majig. <laughs> Uh, we're going to give you the spiky thing. We should probably give it to someone who's a bit more advanced with combat. I mean, indifferent. Uh, yeah. They're, they're all kind of all over the place, to be honest. But anyway, they're all equipped, which is fantastic. Lara here. Um, now we'll have a bed. Then I believe we should do some antibiotics. And then after that... Oh, it's a hard one. It is a hard one. <sighs> See, over here... We do have when the meat goes rotting, which you can see that, you know, we've got six meat that are rotting there. We've got eight that is rotting there. It will take us one day maximum, but what it will give us is, it will give us fuel. Uh, at this stage, 
probably don't need it to be honest. We've got brewing there, which is going to give us some ale. I mean, who doesn't like a pint? I mean, particularly me. I, I, I'm a cider person. Although we do want our musical instruments because that's going to make everyone a lot happier. Okay, guys, we have our aggressive animals on our way. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, Ken, because you're just standing there, we're going to get you to close this. We're going to get everyone, all our people, we're going to get you all to come inside on your merry way. Okay, so we want to get this closed. Um, so, Ken, we want to get you to climb up here. Uh, Emlyn, we want you to get you to climb up there. I just, I don't even know where they're coming from, to be honest. Oh my gosh, they're absolutely miles away. Fainted. Too tired. Oh, Ken. Oh, that's not good. Maybe get Ken to come and sit down for a bit. God, can't, can't even get him to. He's a, like our best, our best fighter, and yet um, he is not doing what we need him to do. Oh, here they come, here they come. Oh, Lord, here they come. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing things. We're going for it. Um, we might want to get them to move slightly back a little bit just to give them some breathing room. We do have Emlyn up there being an absolute boss uh, with the pistol there. Ugh. Ken, who's our combat Ken, uh, top fighter, decides to go to sleep. Fantastic. We've got three more to sort us out here. Got this little one down here as well. Nice shot there. Uh, we'll get all these undrafted as well. And they can go about their merry way. We'll get these uh, picked up, scooped up. Vanessa's fainted. Not ideal. Gosh, now, now Emlyn is uh, fainted as well. And then we're going to start building out our base, which I think is going to come down here. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments below if this was helpful. And if you'd like to see more, that would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, so next time, yeah, we're going to be starting building our base properly. So I will catch you then. So until then, take care.